Hello and welcome to today's video of Learn UX ID. I'm Mohammed Hassan, a user experience designer, and today we will be talking about a new feature that has been introduced recently in Figma, that is widgets. So along with your plugins, you can find your widgets over here. Uh, you can see the icon. I, I'm going to sh share the screen now. So if you click on this resources, you can see we have a new panel, which is called components, plugins, and then we have widgets. So uh, widgets are actually small kind of uh, apps within uh, Figma. And when you uh, run one of them, so let me show you some of the useful ones I actually use. I think we can use something for taking notes. So there is one little notes. So let's try to insert over here. So let's zoom in. So here we have it and we can uh, edit the note. Let's call it um, finish the first iteration um, then move to fix the nav bar. Okay. So once I have done this, you can see I have this little note over here and I can move it over uh, my design like this, for example, like this or over here um, close to this one. So whenever someone uh, reaches over here, they are going to see how they can, uh, they have to do. So similarly, we have few more. Let me show you here. We have note notes widgets with markdown. So these are different note taking uh, widgets. So we can, let's click on this. Let's zoom in first see what is happening so here we have we just click on the plus and let's start writing and you can see the good thing about this one is uh, there is my image over here and also the time that I have written this so let's do it like this let's add another one um, let's try to add another one let's add another one so you can see you have to do click like this and I can move it over here. Another user can add more notes over here. So right now um, it is working like this. Uh, then I think I had a sticky note, which was very simple, sticky. Uh, this one, I really, really love this. I, I have enjoyed this. I normally, uh, the, the best thing about it is that you can overlap it on any of your designs like this. So you can see it shows over here, sticky note and has a separate icon that it is a sticky note. I usually do is I move all these sticky notes on the top of, um, uh, on the top of the chain like this. And you can also write over here. Let's write fix the type face. And one more thing is that you can also use hug over here and it is going to be like this and you can change the color to pink. Let's move it. Let's move this uh, to over here like this. So this way, when I have to convey the changes to my developers, I normally use this sticky note and I keep it um, uh, like 10 or 12 different sticky notes. Uh, all over my design and tell my developers that this is where you messed up. Okay. So show author. Okay. So it also has a button to show author. And uh, I think this is a very, very neat, small kind of widget. I really love this. Then we have, I think one more, which was, um, I think there are few for polling. Uh, let's see, we have one uh, feedback collector. We have yes, no feedback collector, like you can see over here, little poll. Mm, and then we have in progress, different statuses in progress uh, or choose the status. For example, let's uh, choose the status of this month to be uh, new update. What is happening? Select frame. Okay, so I have to select the frame. For example, let's select this one. And then this is going to be uh, frame color. 
it is actually giving a border to the whole frame that it has been uh, it is a new update so here we have it this is a nice little tricky <laughs> nice little tricky statuses so they have like it says 64 statuses but right now i'm seeing only six anyhow this is a nice one uh, let's try to find few more uh, i am going to show you i think there is uh, simple annotate uh, it is also very handy one i think it is uh, very similar to this one sticky note you can annotate your design let's um, this is an illustration so let's zoom in so you can see properly so i'm going to use red over here and the cool thing about it is it can simplify you can minimize it so this is how uh, it, it is looking right now so you can click and make it a bit bigger so let's use this color we have different sizes large medium uh, so I am going to use this one this time so this is a nice little widget to annotate your design that this thing is uh, working like this or maybe you want to specify something uh, let's find out more color level generators uh okay so ux flow little to do so little to do is really nice i have used it um so here is actually a to do list so you can add a to do list let's call it um, i will be working on this then i will work on this let's see how it actually so this is one let's another one add another one then I will do this. Okay, so here we have a to-do list and this is going to be helpful if you have like four or five tasks and you can click any of them to make them completed. So this is a nice one. You can add it to your artboard or anywhere you want. Okay, let's see if we can have some voice memo. You can record your voice notes uh, on your Figma uh, artboard or your design then there are a few more yes no feedback collectors so here we have it one more so was this page helpful or something like this okay so so i can type over here no or yes or not whatever it's a feedback collector uh, there are few more i think i yeah this one i really like this one alignment scale feedback collector so for example i am going to move it over here so if i like this design i am going to vote like i strongly or a little bit disagree and if i want to have something like this so vote recorded you can see it says says vote record so if you have a whole team they can vote uh, on different areas so you can select uh, click on this result revealed so it is going to let's zoom in a bit okay like this so you can click over here then you can show results uh, so maybe if we have four or five team members, they are going to aggregate their icons over here. Very nice. So you can collect your feedback from your team members on different features or design areas. Um, let's see if we have another one. Uh, this is a Kanban board that is almost similar to um, which, which tool? Trello. So this is a really nice one. So you can add different tasks in progress done. This is a really nice Kanban, Kanban board. So it is very similar to Trello. So if you have Trello, I have another video where I have showed how you can use Trello to track your task and everything. So this is for task management or uh, in progress done or whatever you are doing. So, okay. Um, let's find out a few more. Okay, so this one is good, change log. Uh, let me show you. So advanced change log. So it actually is whenever you are creating a, or working on a whole design system or you are working on a very big design, then you can update that. Uh, we have updated, um, uh, we have, uh, like we have updated form input shadows or something like this and 
uh, this is how your change log is going to be okay uh, let's add it fixed or in progress so these are different statuses so you can see we have added right now mm, added new um, two pixel shadows let's uh, call it like this okay so let's add another one change log uh, let's um, like um, created few new form elements okay so this is going to be your whole update of what your change log is and um, this is i think dark mode this is light mode uh, so it shows the changes over here Okay, so this is a nice one if you are working on a bigger team or you have a lot of updates on your design like design systems, then this is going to be very, very handy. Uh, normally, I normally go for simple annotates, sticky notes, or uh, maybe statuses. Uh, this is, these are really nice. Then we have this hill chart. I'm not sure. Um, this is going to be the project status. I really love this one, alignment scale. Then we have this color level generators, uh, pixel pusher, let's browse in the community. You can go to the community. There is one more time zone. Time zone is for if your team is working in different time zones and you can uh, use that. Super list, it is also uh, new tasks and uh, these are been generated by different users. It also shows the users. Then we have these, um, let's, uh, widgets and let's use figma only so we have star rate rater then we have contrast checker and then we have this pool uh, then we have this little weather widget if you if you would like to see the weather uh, you can see that inside your figma uh, then we have markdown note taking um, to do list this is another one uh, then we have a calculator inside figma oh, that's great uh, teams so this is nice one so if we have multiple teams you can join one team over here uh, who is next shuffle box um, so there are tons of widgets you can find you can try them out I normally would go for simple annotate then I, I would also love to uh, have every what's happened this one to do list I also love uh, little notes. Uh, there is one more which I think where is the one sticky note. I, I really love this sticky note. This is a nice one to take notes on different screens. Uh, I normally use them. Before these widgets I used to create different um, uh, boxes to show the changes and those were layers inside Figma. Now this is a really nice feature that you can have different other elements using widgets so this is all about widgets if you have enjoyed this video or if you use any of these widgets do let me know now and if you don't or uh, have never used any widget do comment in the section below make sure you use start using the sticky notes and then there was this one let's zoom in a bit uh, this one is really nice i'm just recapping this one alignment scale is really nice um markdown notes is good to do list is really nice i really love this one annotate oops annotate this design so let's i'm not sure how to change it now uh, anyhow these are all the uh, widgets i would i normally use most of the time this to do list sticky notes i have used many times and uh, that is all if you um, like this video, make sure you can subscribe my channel. I have seen a lot of my uh, viewers. They are not my subscribers. Make sure you subscribe. So I have more energy to create such videos. I will meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.